What's up guys, we are Tottenham TV here. We are at the Novotel at the Punjabi Spurs event. It gives me absolute pleasure to introduce to the channel legendary former Spurs manager Keith Birkinshaw is here with me today. How are you doing Keith? Are you feeling I'm right? fine, yeah. I'm looking forward to the game against Manchester City. I think we're going to win it. Yeah? You confident? I am because uh, Manchester City have lost it. Uh, I think up here a little bit in the head. And that's a big part of football, what goes on in your head, you know. Obviously, you were part of the Spurs team in the 80s when we won two FA Cups back to back in 80 and 81. Um, what no, is it? In 81 and 82. 82 sorry, 81 and 82. <laughs> sorry about that. Yes. Um, obviously, we beat Man City in the final in 1981. What are your like, recollections of that day? Of obviously Ricky well, Villa scoring the winner? We wanted to win something. I think it is a little bit like Spurs are today. Mm -hmm. They hadn't won things for, for a few years, and uh, we really did want to win the FA Cup that season. Uh, it was uh, it was not easy the first match it could have gone to Manchester City uh, but then funnily enough when we would got through there and we were into the second game on the Thursday following the Saturday game mm -hmm. I was pretty confident that we would win it because I knew that we were a better side than what Manchester City were it's interesting what you say about you know Spurs really wanted to win a trophy that year obviously you said it was similar to the situation we have now how, what does it change for a club once you win a trophy? What does well, it change for just the atmosphere? It's not so much myself, but it's the players. As I said, 90% of what goes on is up here. And once they've won something, then they're pretty confident that they can go on winning other trophies. Would you say the current Spurs side is maybe the best Spurs side since you managed it? The, the possibly a better side than what I had. Um, Interesting. I don't know. <laughs> but I think that the... the, the the thing is now, the ball and the gra and the pitch itself mm -hmm. makes it a different game. You know, when we were playing, the pitches were full of mud and chopped up, so you couldn't roll the ball about along the surface quite mm -hmm. as well as Nicely what they do it. now. And of course, the balls were heavy, uh, full of water when it rained and <laughs> water logged. Yeah. yeah. Who do you say was the? Um best Spurs player we, that you managed well technically Glenn Hoddle was That's the obvious one yeah. I've never seen anybody better than him technically yeah no he I'm was sure. a wonderful player Who'd and and sorry. for me he played for England 50 odd times 53 I think he should have been over 100 games everything should have been revolving around him mm -hmm. because he was such a great player but they didn't do that in those days it was the physical side of the game that they looked at more than the technical side, I think. Which is interesting because right now I think it's more, the, the game's going towards more of a physical game. More you have to, you can't really get luxury players. Would you argue like Glenn's kind of a luck, was a luxury player at the time, kind of no. England? No. No. I I looked at the uh, at the FA Cup final, two, the two games that we played to, to win it first time. Mm -hmm. And for me, Glenn did more work than probably any of the other players. So, you know, so it's a bit of a so myth, you're saying, yes. that, that, people, that he doesn't yeah. work hard? Yeah, yeah. Who would you say, apart from maybe Glenn Hoddle, who would you say of your team that you managed would be going to the current Spurs side? Well, uh, Ozzy. I Reckon mean, Ozzy was voted the top player in the world in 1978. I don't know if you knew yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, when he won the World uh, Cup. So, yeah, he would have got in. Uh, Steve Perryman, I thought, was a... A fantastic player but he didn't get in the England team um, I think he would have fought his way into the side mm -hmm. um, so yes we'd, we'd we'd got some really top players um, it's difficult to say whether they would have uh, mm -hmm. got into the side these days but um, I'm pretty certain that, that you know somebody like uh, the left winger that we had um, Tony Galvin. Tony Galvin. You know, he did so much work up and down the field. But mm -hmm. things have changed now, aren't they? He was a Different winger game, in yeah. those days. Now we don't have any wingers, do we? <laughs> no natural wingers, no. yeah. Inside forwards really. I think inside. the other thing that, that disappoints me with football today is that we haven't got dribblers anymore. No one really you takes know, people on as And they it's do. just passing that's got to get past people. Sun does a bit. Pardon? Sun does a bit. Yes. Yeah, human sun, yeah. Yes. As obviously as a former Spurs manager, looking at this Spurs side now, the current one, who would you look at in this side and think, you know, I'd love to have managed them or I love the way they play, watching them play? Well, Harry Kane obviously is a yeah. terrific uh, centre forward. I think that uh, the lad alongside him, 
um, song. I, th I think he's, he's a Fantastic. terrific player. And of course, Deli Ali, when he's on form, he would get in most sides. Is, that, is it a, a place this season where he's gone down there to a certain extent? Mm -hmm. I see he's coming back a bit now. So, how old is the kid? About 21? 22. Yeah. 22, so 23, 24, he could be an absolutely fantastic player for Tottenham. Do you feel like we maybe miss someone like a Steve Perryman in, in central midfield? Someone who well, I think, I think the big thing about Steve Perryman was that he was a, a terrific manager. So, anything that I wanted doing on the field, mm -hmm. he would be the one that carried it on there for me. Can you understand yeah, that? Yeah, and as a leader on the pitch. Yes, he was tremendous. And he was such a... Uh, uh, such a guy that was into it that every Sunday we talked for a couple of hours on the phone mm -hmm. about what had happened the previous week, what had happened on the Saturday when we played the game, what we were going to do the following week, how we were going to view the game that mm -hmm. was coming up. Yeah, we, we talked and talked about things together. So I knew that when he went on the field, he was carrying on what I believed in, you know? Yeah, I understand that. And obviously, currently, our, our captain is Hugo Lloris, who's a goalkeeper. Yes. Well, do, you, do you have any opinion on having a goalkeeper as a captain? No, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that he can get at the players like somebody that's in the outfield. Interesting. You understand? Right. Okay, that's very interesting. Yeah. All right, so what's your prediction for the game then today? I think they'll win. You think they'll win? Any scoreline? About 3-1. Three, 3-1. One. Three, one. Any goal scorers? Harry Kane. <laughs> I'm a little bit disappointed about Harry Kane. With the goal? With claiming yeah. the goal? Just claiming the goal. You were disappointed with that? Yes. Why is that? Well, because the fellow that, that had the shot, yeah. it was probably going into the net anyway. From Ericsson, yeah. It's just brushed Harry Kane. Uh, but if it touches him, it's his goal, isn't it? Listen, football's about being a team game. Not about individuals. But some would argue that Ericsson was aiming to cross the ball and maybe he well, was aiming to assist Harry Kane anyway, you might as well give it to him. No, no? I don't, I don't, no. Oh, there you but are. I think he's, he's a great lad, Harry Kane, but I, I was amazed that he, uh, he claimed that. Do you, um, are you looking forward to maybe having another cup final song this year? General I, Pochettino? I think, got, <laughs> I think they've got a great chance of winning the FA Cup this year. And how special is the AF Cup having won it twice? What can you say about that? Well, it's not, as, it's not as important these days as what it was when I uh, was a manager. I mean, everybody talked about it for a couple of months before it happened, you know. Um, these days, it's just another cup final. Uh, most of the talking is done about the European football and, and the championship itself, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. Do, do you feel like that? Pochettino actually did say he takes the... Premier League and Champions League a lot more seriously than he does other domestic trophies. Do you feel like he? I don't think I, I don't think I would have said that, mm -hmm. but I can see what he's where he's coming from. Yeah. Uh, but if he wins the FA Cup, then I think it's the first step for things to, to yeah. go in top you think it, it, and It's important to have that base, though. You know, consistently finishing in the top three or top two of the Premier League is that more important than maybe just getting the one trophy here and there? Well, it's it's very. You know, you go into the European uh, yeah, champions, champions. Um, and that's important. It's also important for money, which is a big, big factor these days. Mm -hmm. um, but when I was manager, you know, I don't think people realise, but it was just the top team that went into. <laughs> Only one side exactly. went into the Exactly, because we, we finished second when we went into it. We gave UEFA Cup 1, didn't we? So it was yes. a bigger trophy to win UEFA Cup yes. when we won it yes. under your management, yes. obviously, in IT. Because it was a knockout competition all the way through. And yeah. same, same with the with the top team, you know? I don't want to take too much of your time, but just, I need to ask this question. What are your thoughts on Pochettino as a manager and the job he's done? First? Yeah, I think he's a terrific manager and he's, he's got some really top players around him. Uh, I'm just looking for him to put more and more English players in. More English players? <laughs> yeah. Doesn't have enough? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for joining us, Keith. Okay. Absolute pleasure. Yeah, please, my grand. Yeah, go on. My day. What about the money situation? How hard it is. Was it in your day? Was it just as hard in terms of well, being I was, able to buy what you wanted? I was the one that, that managed everything, really. Yeah. We had a secretary, but. You know, between us, we decided how we were going to spend yeah. and how we were going to uh, get the money in. Yeah. Um, I think it's. It wasn't I don't as competitive. Think, I mean, at the moment, 
It's very hard for us to compete because of the money that City have got well, and United have got. Tottenham are not one of these people who've got a who've got an owner that is a multi-billionaire, right? We? Right. And that is the difference between us and Manchester City and Manchester United. And then did you have that situation there? No. In the eighties, no. I'd got to Everybody make sure that we were in the black. Money okay. coming in was, what was, going out. was yeah. always going to be a little bit better than money going yeah. out. Yeah. You understand? Because yeah. it's going to be an even bigger challenge, isn't it, with the cost of this? Stadium. Yes. In terms of yeah. the money side of things. Yeah. Oh, great. Anyway, great okay. to meet somebody that's uh, a little bit younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. The great General Birkinshaw here with us today. Thank you so much okay. for being on the channel. Absolute okay. pleasure. Again, right. your thoughts picking your brain. Okay. Thank you very much. All Come right. on, you Spurs. <laughs>